Hi Calvary, this is Amber here with your word for the day and today we're going to be looking at Psalm 37 and it's such an amazing psalm um, and I encourage you to read the whole thing because it is so full of rich biblical truth and conviction for your life but we're going to look at just verse 3 and it says trust in the Lord and do good dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness and so that part that it says trust in the Lord this is the foundation for a healthy and thriving relationship with our Lord and Savior and for any relationship that we have because if we don't trust the other person then we're not going to be able to have a healthy growing relationship and so we want to trust God if we want to grow deeper in our relationship with him so if we say that we trust God for our salvation we trust God that he has forgiven our sins and that he has saved us for all eternity, then we should be able to trust him for everything in our life right now. We should be able to trust him with our marriages, with our children, with our health, with our jobs and finances, with the economy, with everything that's going on. We should be able to trust in him. But I think it's a lot easier said than done to say I trust in God than to live that out in our life. And so what does that look like trusting God? It means putting our faith into action. And so I think there's one main thing that keeps us from trusting God most of the time, and that's fear. There's some fear that we have that keeps us from taking and putting our faith into action and trusting God. So it might be something like, I'm afraid of flying so I'm never going to go on a mission trip overseas. Or it might be, I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough to live on if I tithe. And so we need to first acknowledge what that fear is. What is that fear that's keeping you from trusting God? And then the next thing is that we need to confront the fear. Because if we don't confront the fear, then it's going to control us. And so we need to confront that fear. So that might look like, okay, I feel called to go on a mission trip, but I'm scared to fly. And so say, okay, God, I'm going to choose to go on this mission trip and fly and trust that you're going to give me peace on the flight. Or it might be, okay, God, I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough to live on, but I'm going to trust you and give you 10% of my income. And when you do that and you trust God, you're going to experience him working miraculously in your life and showing up in new ways. And I've experienced this over and over again in my own life. Um, and I just want to share one example with you. For so long in my life, I was full of fear and it consumed me. Um, and it was a fear of all things medical, doctors, needles, blood, any of it. I was terrified. Um, I would avoid situations and people because I was afraid I would have extreme panic attacks um, and it just consumed me and I didn't trust God in any of it until he put me in a situation where I couldn't avoid it anymore and that's when I became pregnant with my son Eli and I had to get blood work done and that was the most terrifying thing to me ever and when I went in to get it done I acted like a four-year-old toddler and was crying hysterically and holding my arms back so they couldn't do the blood work and they let me go because they thought I was crazy and thankfully my very kind and loving husband Robert asked me this question. He said, do you trust God that he will give you the peace and self-control to face your fear? And this was such a haunting question for me because I said that I believed in God and trusted in him, but I was not living it out in my life. And so I had to wrestle with this. Am I going to trust God even though I'm so scared? Or am I gonna let the fear control me? And so I spent so much time praying and reading my Bible and God worked in me. This is why we encourage you to read your Bible all the time because when you read God's word, he will work in your life and change you. So I read the Bible and I prayed and I said, okay, God, I'm going to surrender to you and I'm going to trust you more than I fear all this medical stuff. And I went and I was able to get the blood work done and I had peace that surpasses all understanding that only comes from God because I chose to surrender and trust in him and he showed up in my life and he gave me what I needed in that instance. 
and see there's so much peace and freedom that comes when we choose to trust in God and put our faith into action. And I know that you can experience that peace and that freedom that comes with it as well when you choose to trust God in every area of your life. So my encouragement for you today is to spend time with God. Read his word and get to know him. Surrender everything to him. Trust in God and put your faith into action. I hope you have a great day, Calvary.